Savage. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> What's up, Soul Family? <clears throat> Excuse me, it's your Uncle 790 Spiritual Savage here to uh, do a message for you guys here. Um, I, 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 like, share, follow, hit that notification button and subscribe button. And please select the all options so that you know when all of my uploads upload. You feel me? Share these videos if you think they'll help somebody. You know? Don't be stingy. Let's praise my dad, the most high God, for bringing us here to commune with the divine at this given time. And for <clears throat> giving us good messages to, to, to help propel us uh, forward. Propel us forward and help uplift us to ascend. That's what I heard. <coughs> you know... Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> oh okay so yeah um so um i was thinking you know uh you know there's nothing wrong with um hold on uh, there's um <clears throat> That's a big, that's a grizzly, that's a small, that's a fucking grizzly bear. I'm trying to tell you, that's like a bear cub. Look at that nigga. Don't you do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, but, 131 on the clock. Uh, there's nothing wrong with um, being happy and positive all the time. This, It's not. I'm not saying that I am. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm positive. Even when I'm negative, I will find the positive in the negative. I definitely will. Even if it's just a joke or a laugh. But, you know, I was thinking, you know, when you're growing up and, you know, like, uh, if, you're, if you're going through some things and, and you see somebody who's always happy, you'd be like, fuck that bitch always smiling for. Her. Damn, she's, oh, she just get on my nerves. She just chip her happy all the fucking time. That was wrong. That's wrong way of thinking. Uh, it may seem a little kind of fake or phony, um, and, and, and it could, you know, especially if you're not in a good mood, it could really kind of rub you the wrong way. But I, I, I would urge somebody to remember this. Those are the kind of people that you want to be around. Okay? This is the true deal. Because if somebody walks around like that all day, you don't know confirmation. They, when they leave work, they may go home to like a hellhole. They may go to somewhere really negative. Um, where they, where it's just they're, dep it's very depressing environment. And when they get home, they're just like, "Fuck, I don't, I don't like my husband. I don't like my wife. <clears throat> my kids are fucking nermics. <clears throat> they could be in an abusive relationship. <clears throat> Hell, they could be like homeless, living out their car. But, but they, but they, but they, but they build themselves up every day to come to work because that's where they are happy. That's where their peace is. And so when they come to work, they, they I'm, I'm pick, I don't know why I'm picking up on this particular situation, but when they come to work, they come to work because it, it enriches them. It makes them feel good to, to share energies with other people who might <clears throat> give that person the fuel that they need, that energy, the, 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 the energy, yeah, the feelings that they need to keep going through the rest of the day that gets them through their shitty night to come back to just be, uh, to be around people that very next day. So the next time you're around somebody who may rub you the wrong way because they get on your nerves because they're too happy and chipper all the time, uh, you know, ask, you know, try try to just look at it from a different perspective. It's all a higher perspective is all I'm saying, okay? <clears throat> What's up, baby? All right, y'all. Um, spirit guides and spirit teams, I really, really, really appreciate you. Um, you know, uh, I heard something earlier by um, Master Shri. Uh, don't even get me started with the last name, but a master Shri is what I'm gonna call him now. And I, I like to watch his stuff. And he said earlier, 411 on the clock, valuable information, confirmation. Uh, <clears throat> but um, he said earlier, like, because he was talking about how you, how do you know that your manifestations are coming to you? And the last one was, he said, because you're watching this video. And then he was like, well, duh, you know, uh, how do you know? He said that, how do you basically like well anybody could be watching this video and he was like not really because when you get those messages when you see those signs somebody else could be watching it but it's going to it's going to hit you here you know and so i say that to say uh you know to my spirit guide and spirit teams i appreciate you because i pay attention to the universe 
I'm not 100%, you know. I got a little bit of ADHD or something. I just, I'm just old and ain't got patience. I'm working on it. But overall, uh, I just would like to thank my spirit guide and spirit teams. I just would. And ancestors and law enforcement as well. <clears throat> uh, because I, I'm going to get to this card because I think it's important. But <clears throat> I did a pre-shuffle. Actually, it was at the bottom of the deck. But I'll get to that. What I'm saying is that... Um, so let's, you know, I had had a conversation with somebody a while ago about how um, I felt because of my situation, the things that are going on with me, that um, that there was that there was uh, or there was communi orchestrated communication um, f just made for me on YouTube. Things I was seeing on my phone, people that I just I randomly met on the street. I was like, they're being sent to me. These messages are being orchestrated because they're for me. Now, I call it divine orchestration. Somebody was like, well, it could just be people fuck, it could just be people doing it. And I said, you know, true indeed, it could just be people doing it. You're right about that. But it takes a very particular kind of person to even get those messages, okay? And that's the truth, Ruth. So, you know, a, you know, a million different, a, a ten, let's say 10 people that sit around all day, um, and not all, not like this, but I'm kind of taking it to a positive way that, you know, you may be going down the wrong path in life. Um, and so let's say 10, 10 of your friends get together and go, we got to help this dude. He's not listening to us. He doesn't watch the news, blah, 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 blah. So we're, let's, 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 let's make YouTube videos since he watches YouTube and get him to kind of see where he needs to wake up. They could do that. And if you're not tapped in, if you're not, if you're not spiritually awakened, um, you're not going to find those videos. You're not going to pay attention to the videos. You're just not. Not at all. So pat yourself on the back if you're one of those people that uh, pay attention. Because when messages are for you, they come to you. And if you're, if you're open to receiving them, no matter if the people come together to do it purposely so that things could be better for you or the divine has orchestrated a community of people to wake you up, to keep you on the right, right path so that you can get to your destination or where you begin. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about, okay? Thank you, big brother Y Bizzle. I was listening to him when I was doing the card. I appreciate you, bro. For He offers a lot. Y'all check him out if y'all don't watch him. So, I did a pre-shuffle. We're just going to return to center 10 times fold, guided with love and light, things that do not belong to the collective in me, so mode to be, so mode to be, so mode to be, and so it is. We're also going to ask that all evil eyes go blind and all your hearts and demons go deaf. And I'll also just throw in here before I do this that um, 7.37 on the clock, that's a small jet. If you don't have a family or friends that are, if you're a content creator, if you're a singer, dancer, actor, a writer, if you have people that should ordinarily be supporting you, like if you know a bunch of people, like I've known a bunch of people my entire life and nobody is supporting my dreams, goals, and aspirations when I've always been more than willing to support them, do not feel bad. Keep working at it. Keep going. There are people who will notice you and will support you. Feel me? I used to feel some kind of way. I used to be really sad about that, especially when it was like my mom or whatnot. But, you know, it is what it ain't. You know, um, would it have... My path would have been different, possibly, if people would have pushed behind me and my talents and the things that I could do. But that wasn't what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to happen the way it was supposed to happen. So a lot of times, don't beat yourself up. Don't don't harbor resentment for people who didn't do what you think they should have done because we don't control people. And yes, uh, really, ordinarily speaking, parents don't really have to do shit but you know give birth to you and then take care of you till you're 18. And after that, you're, it's a done deal. But... As long as you got uh, food to eat, a place to stay, nobody beating your ass, you know, abusing you and shit like that. Really, I mean, that's, hey, you know what I'm saying? So you got to get out in the world and just make, find, do, sometimes you just have to find your own way, find your own path. And it could take you to your 43 years old like me. I'm at the first third of my life. But if you look at it like, oh, I'm old and I can't do certain things, then you ain't gonna be able to do them. I mean, I, there are some things I think I feel like I'm too, just too old. I won't be, I don't think I'll be doing, but I'm not close off to certain things. You feel me? Life is life. Life presents opportunities for us to take advantage of, not to uh, push away. So we got the vulture. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is from the um, the Wild Unknown uh, Animal Spirit Guidebook or Tarot Deck by Kim Kranz. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nine thirty nine on the clock. It's congestion. Gestion. I was about to say conjunction junction, but no congestion gestion. Vulture. Now, when you think when when I saw the card, I was like, "Oop, that's kind of fucked up." Like, 
I was like, but obviously there's a message there. Because when we think about vultures, we think about death. We think about um, them picking off, you know, dead animals, dead people. Just kind of, they, they, they swirl around just like waiting on you to die if you're stuck in the middle of a fucking desert or some shit. So I was like, well, obviously vultures. Because vultures, they, 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 they are scavengers. They do. They pick off of things that have died, right? Like the waste. Or they, or they wait for people to die. It's kind of like they wait, like they circle around you, like, yeah, we gonna when this, when it's time for his ass to drop, I'm first. You know what I'm saying? But check it out. So it means guardian and purifier, essential for rebalance. It says the vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does not. Uh, it does it does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes the vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance remember the vulture is greatly undervalued what you thought was a mistake or a tragedy is a blessing in disguise that's nice isn't it i thought so so if this resonates with you then you're probably if you're in balance it says you're you you know you clarify and you reveal wisdom uh, when you're out of balance you may be dramatic and aggressive shut up uh, but to bring yourself back into balance clean your space and sage now <clears throat> clean is subjective okay I'm just saying I mean but if your house is a fucking shithole or if it's nasty as hell you got you know clean up your space you know you may not live in the best place but it should always be the best place for you to step into if you if you know I, I, I just give you I guess I got shit everywhere I got papers everywhere let me say that I got papers everywhere because I'm constantly writing or whatnot but and I've had man don't get me wrong now my house has been fucking filthy especially when I was going through it okay um, but if I give you a, a, if if you don't want to let nobody come to your crib because it's because you look around you like I can't handle company then you need to clean your shit up immediately come for fucking nation okay. So we have the vulture. Uh, what struck me was when um, it said uh, the vulture arrives when it cleans to purify, to rebalance, to clean up everybody's mess. Let's see where this goes. I, you know, immediately I thought of uh, like a light worker. You know, uh, now all not all light workers are, do this job, but there are those of us that come and we are here to clean up the mess. I've, I've been that person. I'm done with that job. I, I put in my, I had to do, listen. Uh, I guess, I guess what I'm, yeah, what I'm hearing now is that if that's your job, if that's your duty, if you feel like you're here to help people clean up their messes, that's fine. But don't clean up anybody's mess that's going to just mess it all up again. Your job is to, to bring balance. Not to bring balance to so that somebody can um, uh, imbalance things all over again. That's what I just heard. So you could be, uh, what are those people called? Um, helpers or fixers. I almost said people pleaser, but it ain't people pleasing. Because there are people that are like, I mean, you could be like, this could be like a doctor or, or like a social worker. Um, you know, somebody, a healer. There we go. You could be a Reiki healer. You could be a spiritualist. Exactly. Spiritualist. What else you would like for us to know? We got the temperance, balance. It did come out in the reverse, so we're gonna take it. Okay, just the way it came out. An imbalance, but you're here. You're here to bring balance, as we said. And then this is the judgment card. And we'll get one more. Remember, take the energy as it resonates. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay. Thank you, spirit. What is this? And we got the five of swords in the reverse. <clears throat> so there's an imbalance. You could identify with this. Um, you could have an imbalance in your life. Somebody you know could have an imbalance in their life. But there's an imbalance. So we're going to figure out what this imbalance is. What's the imbalance? Thank you, spirit. Now, this is the seven of swords in reverse. This is... Uh, Somebody not being accountable, somebody being slick, sneaky, st stealing. Um, but
But then we it's followed by the Five of Cups, which is remorse, crying over spilled milk, looking over the past, not nah, you know, not moving, not being able to let go of things. So maybe somebody uh, feels bad about something that they did. Well, of course, seven. Of, but maybe they, somebody somebody feels bad that they got caught doing something, or they or they weren't accountable for something. But what is it that they that they feel bad about, Spirit? At the bottom. Oh, okay. So at the bottom of the deck is um, the Six of Wands and the star victory and healing somebody feels bad because they feel somebody left them Victory. Somebody moved on from from this situation. I just, I mean, that's what I'm picking up. Because uh, what we have here is the uh, the six of swords, the six of wands. I'm sorry, which is victory, um, celebration, uh, like a parade. But overall, it's victory, mm -hmm. achievement, uh, like I won. But somebody moved. Somebody. Somebody's being celebrated for maybe healing, you know, or could be an Aquarius. But then you have the two of the two of wands, which is. Uh, traveling going away moving uh go, searching to find somewhere else to go um then we have this uh the 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 uh the hermit which could represent ghosting or, or, or going away leaving everybody behind they didn't want this person to walk away from and, and heal you feel me to get victory from healing from a situation so this person could be uh feeling badly uh, or you could be feeling badly confirmation you could be feeling badly because maybe there was some type of uh, situation in a relationship with somebody or in your family, whatever. Um, and maybe you did something that you're looking over now uh, and it caused that person to walk away. They, they, they saw, they saw a, a win, a victory in healing, go, walking away from your ass. That's the way it is. I, I, I heard again, it's not personal. It's, it was just spiritual. They had to do it for their own spiritual ascension. Now that brought you an imbalance because uh, whoever you are, um, what else? Thank you, spirit. So maybe you took something from somebody. Maybe you, okay, I, I got it. You were using a person. You just took, took, took from a person or they took, took, took from you and you are this person that walked away and now there's an imbalance. Now, I'm not really picking up on the fact that you would be the person that walked away because we're talking about people that need balance. To, to to rebalance to purify so this is for people who need to purify now maybe you use this person maybe you took more than you took more than you gave clarify the six of uh, six of pentacles stop being a fucking martyr okay stop saying oh it happened to me well you got you but this is your moment now i'm picking up you know what you did you know, and it's not it's not that you did it. You, maybe you didn't do it intentionally. Maybe you, I got it. You took somebody for granted. Maybe by doing some things. You're just being accountable for it now. It doesn't mean you stole some shit. But you're being accountable. You, you're holding yourself accountable now for how you took somebody for granted. They didn't like that shit. That's what I heard. That's what it is. Come through, Spirit. Anything else for this? Spirit saying, well, it's about bringing balance. So what do they need to do to bring balance to the situation? Come on, cards. 838 in the clock. Can I get a card, please? What's the advice for this? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. They're telling you to boss up. This is the King of Pentacles. He's a boss. Um, but he also has money. Maybe you got a little bit of change now. Okay? Maybe you come into maybe you maybe you're running your own shit. But this is somebody who's who's a who's a boss, a CEO. He's a he's a he's a boss daddy. Um, or a boss lady. Take the energy as a resonance. Could be a man or a woman. Spirit saying maybe you might want to send them a gift. Repay them. Financially. That's what I heard. Yeah, they may not give a fuck about your ass. It's the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. They may not care. But. <clears throat> or maybe just how they feel now. 
Spirit is saying, send them a gift. They helped you. I just heard they helped you get to where you had to go. Um, send them a gift. Let's get to this next one. All right, so we have the um, judgment card. Balance. To bring balance. Archangel. Um, Archangel Raphael would be good for this. So maybe you need to call on Archangel Raphael. He 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 helps with healing. That's what I heard. So we had somebody. So judgment's been called. Some type of judgment was made mm -hmm, for somebody out here. This is this is different situations. All three different situations. Uh, the judgment resulted in a loss for you. A loss for a brand new beginning, maybe? A child. Child, cust child custody case. The Page of Swords is in the reverse. <clears throat> um, you lost, you lost. Okay, there we go. Yep, you lost, there was an ending. Um, this can represent spying this can represent online communication uh, in the reverse this is you didn't you, you know you didn't see something online you didn't send a message you didn't receive a message so it resulted in the, in the, in the, in the ten of swords which is an ending but for every ending is a beginning which would be a balance yeah, you you definitely lost in court. Mm. But then, but then there's the um, you have the emperor and the um, queen of wands at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Could this be y'all two? You and this other energy? Maybe y'all was being too much, doing too much, sending nasty messages back and forth for you. Messages you couldn't you couldn't take back. You sent messages you couldn't take back. Maybe. Regarding your child, so they she took it. Uh, took your ass. Y'all went to court. I'm picking up on the fact maybe y'all went to court. The nail in the coffin was maybe you sent some fucked up messages to her. Maybe threatened her, or you threatened him, ma'am, sir, whoever. This is about balance. A mess was made. It needs to be purified, cleaned up. So that's what I'm picking up on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take the energy as it resonates. But uh. You know the emperor, <clears throat> the emperor in the reverse, uh, followed by the uh, queen of wands. The three of uh, the three of cups was behind that in the reverse too. So maybe you were in a third party. You were in a third party with this queen of wands, and your baby mama or your wife found out, or baby mama found out. Somebody found out, and it didn't go well for you in court. Maybe because they found some messages. Maybe this was due to a divorce. Whatever. Yeah. They don't, yeah. Whatever you were offering, um, this is. I think this has a lot to. I think this is a, a child support or like child. This is a page. So this is like um, maybe you weren't taking care of your child, and she proved it with some messages. Plus there was third party activity going on. Were you caking on your lady instead of caking on your kid? Could have been. Um, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> She walked away from you with your kid. You walked away from the situation. Maybe that's what it was. You took from your kid and walked away towards somebody else. Maybe that's what she said. You left it all behind for something new, to search for something new. Maybe uh, that, that yeah, this is due to a third party, dude. Sis, whoever, bro. Yeah, Spirit says that's the truth. The advice. Offer a cup of love. Offer, offer a love. Offer love. Use your intuition. Uh, be single. <laughs> okay. Be single. You could be an Aquarius. Or maybe um, maybe your ex-wife or baby mama is an Aquarius. Single. Maybe because she's single now because your ass cheated on her. Or whatever. Did something fucked up. This ain't offer a cup of love. 
That's the advice. I'm not a shrink. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a spiritualist who reads tarot cards. Okay. What else? Yeah, she's single. She 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 she's she's intuitive too. Maybe that's how she found out. She trusted her instincts. Uh, Spirit is saying make a love offer. Or, or, and not look like a love offer, like y'all get back together, but maybe like a peace offering. Yeah, this is about divorce and a kid. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle. She's not going to make it easy for you. And why should it be if you cheated on her? Let the bitch go. This is, yeah, see, look, bur burdens, you're still dealing with the bitch. Stop lying. Chariot in the reverse with the uh, Queen of Wands. Stop lying. Stop lying. Don't don't go. Be honest is what I heard. This is what the cards say too. If you're gonna reapproach it, because she she got your money and she she got your money. She's fine. Maybe this is spousal support. Maybe. Okay. Uh, what else? Bring balance. We're looking for balance though. What's balance? What we are giving you advice to what to do. You fucked up. You need. You did something wrong. Bring balance. What's balance? One more card for the balance for this situation, please. Six one six on the clock. This could be for somebody in Michigan. One more for. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Don't lie. Don't cast illusions. Don't try to put a wool up. Don't. Don't. Don't do too much. Don't. Don't give a whole bunch of promises you can't keep. I just heard. Don't tell a bunch of lies. Go in there and be honest. Be real. You feel me? Because right now she sees you as the emperor and the reaper. And this card is still behind this card. Oh my God. This card still. She still sees this. Or maybe you're still dealing with this lady. May, and I'm not saying don't deal with the lady. But both y'all in the reverse. Y'all, it it's a karmic relationship. It was a karmic situation. And that's what cost you your marriage. Um, ultimately. Because she found out. All right. But. Drop the drop the burden. Drop the relationship. Especially if your kids involved. You want to be a part of your kids' life without having all that drama to be a good co-parent. Don't go in there with a bunch of bullshit lies. Stop it. Stop it. I just picked up on the fact that maybe you could be a cop based upon a chariot card, but that's you know, you don't have to be. Alright, so finally we have a balance to a bully situation. Somebody something, somebody, um somebody was bullying. There was some type of uh not bullying what is this could have been a bullying situation but stopped this is also playing unfairly in the upright so balance purify a situation what's the five of swords the knight of swords fast moving action going after something I I, I I i was it's funny but right before the car came i was thinking you didn't do enough to win you didn't play hard you didn't go after you didn't pursue the win you <laughs> shit okay uh <laughs> come through spirit uh you didn't you didn't play to win you didn't fight you didn't you you weren't competing it's like you threw the match. You you threw you threw some type of competition. You didn't you didn't fight it. You didn't go after it fast. You didn't go after it hard enough. You didn't go hard. Yeah, uh, you didn't put enough into it to get something back out of it. What is it? You didn't ask for help. You needed some type of help. This may be about love again. This could be another. This could be a love situation. But whatever it is, you didn't put enough in. You didn't work hard enough. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't play hard. You didn't. You didn't try to win at all costs. Which, which, depending on what it is, could be a bad thing or a good thing. But you didn't do it. You didn't put enough into it to win, so you lost. So it's a failure, or you got beat. Excuse me. Nine one nine on the clock. Clarify. Uh, 
this is a th this has something to do with third party people getting together celebrating in the reverse so they you know this could be a team thing because then you have the seven of swords somebody cheated during this match i'm feeling did you cheat you cheated you cheated y'all cheat y'all cheated y'all cheated y'all cheated Three, three of pentacles in the reverse. I can't make this up. Y'all cheated. Now, this could have been something at work. Maybe this is something at work. Or some, something about money. But work. You, you collaborated with some people. Buddies. Family, friends. Some people that you that you drank with. Or partied with. Or hung out with. Uh, damn. Shit. Okay. Well, that's too many. Too many. You cheated. At work. Now you're stuck. You got caught cheating. Are you lost because you cheated? There was—is this like a game? Maybe it's a game or something. But no, this is something for some money. It's work. Are you collaborated with some people? You lost. But now you feel stuck. Like now you're stuck. At the bottom of the deck is the, um, the six of cups. This is about inner child healing. This is about from the past. Maybe you did something in the past with some friends. You cheated. You lost. What's, what, what, what is this about? So we have the chariot, which is a uh, fast moving action again. I asked, what did you do? Um, manipulated, you manipulated to, to cause some type of illusions towards our options, or maybe oh, you picked the wrong thing. Maybe that's how you lost. Were you competing for something or someone or someone or something? You didn't move fast. You didn't. You didn't go. You didn't go after it. You y'all didn't go after it fast enough. You were take. I, I don't know because you got caught doing something. You were being slick. This could also represent uh, taking the easy way out of thing or something. I just picked up on. So maybe you. Maybe you again. You 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 were being lazy about something, and now you feel stuck as it pertains to work. This could be for like a promotion. So if a coworker beat you out. Or two of y'all out. There was three of y'all. See? Coworker. Beat both y'all out. That's probably you. Cape swinging in the back, mad as hell, walking away like Professor Snape or some shit. Yeah, you tried to be, you just tried to be, you tried to manipulate the situation, took the easy way out. Maybe you did a little bit of cheating and you lost. But you didn't go after it. You didn't put all you didn't put all into it because you were trying to be slick about something. That's what I heard. Three, three, three in the clock. One more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit saying that to bring balance, choose your higher self this time, whatever it is. Or maybe you just need to stop beating yourself up. You could be a Gemini. This one's weird. Thank you, Spirit. Strength in the reverse. There's a lot of there's a lot of wands in this about passion moving towards something. You don't have the you don't you don't have the strength to communicate maybe what you did. Spirit is saying to bring balance, choose your higher self, tell the truth. Make it right or be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. You're weak about your weaknesses. Communicate that. Be, that's what it means. Be, yeah, communicate to yourself. Find out, you know, be honest with yourself about your weaknesses. Choose your higher self. Don't focus so much on what you're not good at as opposed to what you are good at, Spirit said, because that's why you cheated. Okay? You cheated because you didn't maybe think that you could pull it off. But if you have, I feel like something's coming up again, maybe another opportunity to get um, this spot. Spirit said, work harder. Don't take the easy way out. What's the final what's the final word on it? 34, 34 in the clock. That's synchronicity, baby. 
You could be 34 years old. Yeah. That'll get you that'll get you to where you want to go. This could be something about ideas. Um, creation, creating things. Love what you do. That's what I heard. Love what you do. Approach it from a love standpoint. Go towards whatever this is from a love standpoint. And then and then and then you should then you should be okay. One more please. Yeah, you'll be released from whatever it was, you know, to get out of your head about whatever it is. You'll be able to pull it off as what that to bring balance back to you. Yeah, go within. There we go. Go within to get out of your head and then it'll bring balance back to your situation is what I heard. Damn. So, yeah, we're going to close out this reading. It's a long one. So, what do we learn? That vultures are not nasty, funky, stinking ass creatures who eat off of dead carcasses for the fun of it. They do it to keep our ecosystem going and to prevent everybody from catching diseases. They also bring balance uh, to balance to imbalanced situations. And uh, yeah, that's what we learned. I hope one of these messages resonated with you guys. Um, if not, I wasted my fucking time. That's what I heard. All right, I love you. I'm the Uncle 79, Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. That's a balancing, too. And it's always love and light around this bitch. And as always, deuces. <laughs>